Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to get the game Pal World working on an Apple Silicon Mac. So there is no Mac OS version of this game. We're going to be running the Windows version through Steam and we're going to be using something called Crossover in order to do this, as well as Game Porting Toolkit and D3D Metal. And as you can see, the game doesn't run too badly, despite the fact that we're using all of these translation layers. So what I'm going to do today is show you the full process of how to get this started. We're going to be installing the Windows version of Steam via Crossover, and we'll be running it through the translation layer and getting it working as well as possible on your Apple Silicon Mac. And despite the fact that this game was never designed to work on Apple hardware, it doesn't run too badly. So we're going to go through the entire process, starting with downloading Crossover. So the first thing I'm going to do is to click on the link at the top of the description for my affiliate link for Crossover. If you click the link and make a purchase, then I'll make a small commission and you'll be helping to support this channel and the content that I create. So once you've clicked on the link in the description, we'll be taken to the store page or you can go to codeweavers.com and click on buy now. I do recommend making a purchase of Crossover Plus, which comes with 12 months support. If you want to get a discount, then make sure to use the promo code AppleGamingWiki New and just apply here and then you're going to get a 20% discount. Account. And anyway, once already, you can click the buy now button and then you can go ahead and fill out your details. Alternatively, if you want to try this out, you can also go to the Code Weavers website, click the try now button, and then you can fill out these details and get a fully featured 14 day free trial. So that's what we're going to do today. Here we're downloading Crossover 23.5, which is the latest at the time of recording. So once Crossover is downloaded, we're going to go to Finder and then we're going to go to our downloads folder. We want to find our Crossover zip file here. So all we need to do is double click. It's going to extract. And then we have the Crossover app here. We're going to drag and drop this and put this into our applications folder. Once that's copied over, we'll click on applications and then we're going to scroll until we find the crossover app. So go ahead and double click. Here it's saying crossover is an app downloaded from the internet. Are we sure we want to open? Press open. So once this is open, we've got the option to install applications and games. So the first thing we're going to do is to download Steam. So click on the Steam icon here, we'll do a search for it. Then we're going to click on install Steam. It's going to download and install Steam into a brand new Windows 10 64-bit bottle. Here we're just going to say yes to installing these various fonts. A lot of progress is going to happen in the background you don't have to click anything in particular. So now we're going to go through the Windows Steam setup. So just click next, select your language, select the default installation. Now we're going to allow this to run Steam. So this is downloading a 300 megabyte update. Just let that finish. So now we have the Steam login screen. We can log in with our username and password, or we can scan the QR code with the Steam app on a smartphone. So now we're logging in. And now we're in the Windows version of Steam. And if you want to progress any further, what I'd also advise you to do is to shut down Steam so that we can change some of the graphics settings within Crossover. Basically, we need to quit out of Steam. Press exit here. So now that the Steam bottle has been created, we can just change some settings here. What I advise you to do is to turn on D3D Metal, which is Game Porting Toolkit's translation layer. And then we're going to go ahead and turn on M-Sync, which is a Mac-specific alternative to E-Sync. And this is going to help improve performance as well. And once that's ready, we're going to double click on Steam and log in again. So once Steam's gone ahead and launched from Crossover, what we're going to do is do a search for the word PAL World. So we're just going to type this in and then we're going to go ahead and make a purchase of this game. So here we're just going to scroll down and then purchase the game here, add to cart. And then here I'm going to purchase for myself. And now that's complete, we can press install content or you can go to library, then type in the word PAL World and then go ahead and press the install button and then install this on your computer. Then just go ahead and accept the end user licensing agreement. And then this is going to start us download. And then we're going to wait for this to complete. So now that the download's complete, we're going to go to a library and then go to Power World and then press the play button and it's going to launch for the first time. So just be aware at the moment we're running with D3D Metal turned on and M-Sync turned on as well. So this is going to make use of game porting toolkit, D3D Metal and also M-Sync functionality. So here we're going to go ahead and launch. And just wait for that to finish loading. Here it's saying that the installed version of the AMD graphics driver has known issues. We're going to skip this. We don't need to download AMD graphics drivers, just press no here. And then it's going to go ahead and launch the game. So I have the Metal HUD activated here. If you want to find out how to do this, I'll leave a link to my video tutorial in the description. So it might take a bit of time to load up, but after a minute or two, you're going to see this loading icon and then the patch notes are going to appear. So if this is not rendering or loading correctly, just go ahead and bear press and close. And then we're going to go ahead and launch game. So we've got options. We're going to just have a look at some of the graphic settings. I'm going to keep this at the low preset for now. And then we're going to go ahead and press start. And I'm going to make a casual world here, press OK and then start. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and create my first character. For some reason, I'm having issues clicking on the actual elements, but you can use the keyboard and press the space button in order to change different types. Or you can press the R key to get random characters. 
Sony feels like this game is pretty functional on the Apple Silicon Mac. There isn't too much shader compilation stutter and the game seems to run fairly smoothly. As far as I can tell, it's pretty much fully functional. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Make sure to check out my YouTube channel for other crossover and Windows gaming tutorials on a Mac. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.